<clears throat> you may be ready to go, but then you gotta lay out the cards. Gotta lay them out in the right order. Do this properly. Is this the one where I've got like a million? Quit that. Quit looking ahead. That's cheating. I'm just trying to figure out the 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 symbols at the top. Like, what does that say? Five F seven C. Fifty minute fifty seven. Oh, fifty seven. Card C. <laughs> It's not a complicated. It's not system. as complicated as I it's thought. It's not the Dewey Decimal System. Here. It's, <laughs> it's not. This is. You didn't take this out of the card catalog. No, I didn't. From the library. Mm -hmm. How do you do? We are about to unfold the story of Count of Frankenstein. My son, would you destroy that which I, your father, dedicated his life to creating? What if it had another brain? Who's brain? Your brain. What good is a brain without eyes to see? I warned you that you might regret this action. We, we warned you. You've been warned. Welcome back to Frankenstein Minute, the podcast that dissects the Universal Frankenstein films minute by minute. Film I series. I do what you said. Yeah, all right. Said. Um, I'm Bill Evenson. And I'm Tom Lang, and you join us for Minute 57 of All New Thrills, Universal Film Script Series, Classic Horror Films, Volume 4. I anticipated this. Did you? Yeah, I did. I took notes <laughs> for this minute. Okay. Yeah, so in case you were worried if I no, was going to well, just, no, just yeah, only yeah. talk about my surgery and you know, whatever the hell <laughs> we Is it talking. a serious surgery? No, I, I don't know. Okay. It's, I, I've never had surgery. I've had my... I've had my uh, uh, wisdom teeth out, so they knocked uh, me out for that. And I had a colonoscopy where I got knocked out for no, that. And I had, I think, another dental surgery. No, no, man, they didn't knock me out for that. So I've been knocked out, but never had surgery. Do, do you not want to talk about what you're having done? Yeah, probably not. Okay. But, uh, I don't know. All right. Get me drunk, and I'll okay. probably tell anybody, right. everybody. Today is uh, June 20th. It's Thursday uh, for <laughs> Patreons, and nothing happened. It's, it might be the uh, uh, summer solstice, mm. or is that the next day? It might be. 21st. Next day is the 21st, yeah. which is uh, summer solstice. Yes. And I'll be celebrating in my own way. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Could you be a little I actually more do have plans. I'm having that? a couple of people over. It's the last episode of Doctor Who for the season. It's oh, the season oh, okay. finale. And yeah, imagine that. You didn't get You didn't score didn't, an invite. You didn't get an invite? <laughs> Uh, tomorrow is, or whatever day, Saturday, the 22nd, <laughs> uh, we honor uh, the life of Willis Cooper by commemorating his death. Okay. Uh, who, who wrote the script for And I got tickets to a concert that night at First Avenue, okay. a band called The Revolution. Oh. Now, you may have known them better in the 80s as Prince, Prince and, the and the Revolution. Revolution. So I'm kind of curious what we're going to get. Like, who's going to sing these songs? Yeah, but they uh, do have everybody. Okay. It's, and you saw them uh, yeah. live yes. uh, during the making of the film. Yes. So you'll no, you'll no doubt remember Wendy, Lisa, Lisa. Mark... Uh, doctor and uh, uh, Mark Brown Mark. He went by Brown Mark. I think his name is Mark Brown. And then the doctor, I can't remember his name. And then the no, drummer, no, Bobby Z. Nobody can remember that. Nobody doctor. remembers any of this, but they're all there. All right. So come well, down. Well, come my, on down. Minus one key. Yeah, minus just the one. <laughs> yeah. Some might say key. <laughs> key element. Remember. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be odd to see. All right. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, Sunday, the 23rd, is the uh, was the release date of Abbott and Costello Meet the Mummy. Never seen it. Really? Oh, I must have seen it once. Is it a highlight? Uh, no, but I think I saw it at the right age, so I'm very fond of it. Okay. Probably watching it now as an adult, you'll find it very childish. Are they like in uh, pith helmets and yeah. the whole deal? Yeah. That yeah. seems like it could be good. It has Is a it racist or anything? No, not really. Okay. It's the last one they made for Universal, and it's their penultimate film together. Yeah. So we're um, getting, what is it, 50, you know, it be 55? Bud is almost as heavy as Lou. Yeah, Because he's gained weight, okay. and Lou has lost weight, so... So they, you can't tell. The height, the, the height difference is still is, there. Yeah, and the voices. Bud's voice really changes it, over the it years. It starts to get raspier yeah. and raspier. I, I mean, think it's, he was always raspy, but he gets really... Smoking uh, takes its toll. Takes its toll. Another, another life lost... I don't have his death, but I think we talked about it recently. Yeah. Tuesday will... I think I still have the newspaper clipping from oh, when, wow. he, when he died, yeah. Huh. I just saw something on uh, Facebook where somebody, probably the Gilbert group, where somebody was talking about the last words of uh, Lou Costello. And apparently it's published somewhere that his last words were, this is a great milkshake or whatever. Yeah, and then somebody yeah. else posted with a clip from the Buddy Hackett film where he says that. Mm -hmm. And it's like, this is some sort of, I don't know. 
uh, it was in it was myth in, of of the life and yeah, the death was, of Lou Costello. Like, it was in that what the, what the hell the book Bud and Lou that the movie is based on that he said that and then yeah uh, and it, I don't know if it's in his his daughter wrote a biography hmm. I don't remember if it's in there or not. Well, if my kids ever go back and listen to this or anyone who cares about me uh, after I'm dead, I hope those are my last. I words. know. Wouldn't that be ideal? Yeah. And be like that was a great milkshake. But, yeah. I mean, I, I, I love I, a milkshake. I don't ever. Ha- I haven't had one in probably two years. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming this is uh, related to anything. Uh, no. 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 Apocryphal. But supposedly, uh, Oscar Wilde's last words were, "Either those drapes go, or I do." <laughs> No, I, that's got to be good. it's it's great it's perfect but it's yeah. got to be apocryphal that is that is good though yeah one of well, who is it that that's that said uh, death is easy comedy is hard um like melton burrell or somebody peter o'toole said it in uh, my favorite year i'm okay. not sure who said it for real yeah. um maybe that's all it is i don't know yeah maybe said it for real yeah uh, maybe it was Colin Clive who died on June 25th in 1937. At or, the age of 37. Yeah, was yeah, he? Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. But, uh, you know, you watch, like, Mad Love and he looks like he's 47. Yeah, true. It's, he's the young lead, yeah, romantic lead. Yeah, and he looks... He's the one who has the Mad Love. No, Peter Lorre has the Mad Love. I suppose that's true. Maybe it was Vera West who was oh. born on June 26th, 1898. She designed how most of these characters look. Yeah, right. Certainly the monsters' costumes were her work. Initially, it was James Whale who suggested it. It was based on a, a costume he had worn in a play called The Man with Red Hair. I don't know anything about it other than that. Cause, and there's a drawing that he did, a caricature of himself. Yeah, I've seen it. Uh, everybody yeah, has, everybody's has seen, seen that it. One. But like the um, dummy from Bride, the, the prop of Boris, it's in a museum in Britain and it's attributed to Vera West, the costume. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's nice. Yeah. Well, there you go. Good old Vera. Good old Vera. What has become of you? Anyway. Anyway. Minute 57. Minute 57 of Universal's 1942 film, All New Thrills. All New Thrills, Universal Film Script Series, Classic Horror Films, Volume. Uh, Ludwig continues to wax philosophically. Mm. You know, uh, he uh, was wondering in the previous minute what uh, Kettering will think of. Oh, he's going to love it. Waking up in the body of the monster. Yeah, he's going to fucking oh, just love it. Who wouldn't? That just sounds awesome. Yeah. Will he thank us for He's going to wake up and be drunk still from Cheney's <laughs> latest bender. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's in your blood, right? Yeah, yeah. You can't... <laughs> yeah. Can't sober up by just chopping out the brain and no, putting in putting a, new a new one. one. <laughs> Try that to avoid a DWI. <laughs> yeah. uh, will he be thankful? Uh, will he thank us for giving him a new life? A new. Let me just try yeah. to take two. I have a reason why you did that. Go ahead. <laughs> why I said it wrong? Yeah. All right. Will he thank us for giving him a new lease on life? Because you're, the way you started to say it is better. I don't like lease on life. That's yeah. like a phrase. Like yeah. he's going to give him a pep talk or yeah. something. Like. I have a new lease, new lease on, life. on life. No, it's actually a new life. Yeah. That's what you started to say. So mm-hmm. to me, yeah, that's what I think anyway. No, that's, or. And, and I think that's, yeah, probably what I would prefer him to say. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, but I think it's in the script too. New if I remember lease on right. life, yeah. yeah. Or. Or. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll see how badly or, I can mangle yeah, this one. Yeah, you want me to take this one? Yeah, why don't you? Or will he object to finding his ego living in that human junk heap? And I think a little of column A, little yeah, of column yeah, A. Maybe, maybe, you never know. Yeah. You can kind of go both ways. Well, we should um, point out. We should point out too that uh, 1942 was a less sensitive era than now, and we're we're a little more aware of of not being so dismissive of human junk heaps. Yeah, there you go. So just we, a little disclaimer. Because we seem to elect a fair number of them. We seem to, we president. Seem to uh, <laughs> yeah celebrate them now. So. Just his ego? I mean, uh, that's uh, not the id. Not the id. Not the, the id is going ego. in another body. The, the super ego yeah. into the, yeah. the third body. The id's going to Igor, and then... Well, he had such a big brain. He was like, yeah, oh, look was, at this. Where was this? Seems like a waste. <laughs> <laughs> this seems like a waste. Theodore, Kurt, whatever your fucking name is. <laughs> get, me a, get me a couple more bodies. Yep. We're going to have a... We're no, kettering good. everywhere. Yep. So he says that last line of uh, the human junkie, and then they, like, dive in. Yeah, it's <laughs> true. Like, well, actually, you laugh because he immediately does a thing where he like cranks his arm yeah, you know like in such a way like it, he's uh, like cracking that thing open like, like a yeah. <laughs> brazil nut or something well what is he cracking open <laughs> well i would think by well this i guess point, i assume he's already got the brain out of both both of them are ready right 
Yeah, so the they both ready. have the monster. So Bomer and the monster's head is empty. And yeah, and yeah, and Bomer, yeah, they both <laughs> they both removed brains. But yeah. like we talked about a few weeks ago, Bomer had to be careful. Care- whereas was, yeah, Ludwig, Ludwig used an ice cream, ice cream scoop. scoop. Yeah, yeah. Why did why did we both think ice cream scoop? Is that in something? I don't think so. It's just hmm. I. It just struck me as funny. Yeah, it just seems like the thing. I feel <laughs> yeah. like I've heard it somewhere. Oh, anyway, maybe. or maybe saw it somewhere. Could be. Um, maybe that's in that Faces of Death video where they're eating the monkey's oh, eating brains. The monkey brain. Oh, that's just silly because yeah. it's not real. It's still off. Awful. It's still awful to think about, but awful yeah, to think about 90, and awful what they did to whatever they did to that monkey. Ninety percent of that stuff isn't real in those. Yeah, a lot of them. You're like, well, how could they have possibly how would had they a possibly camera right film there? That? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But then they have real ones which are like sprinkled in. To yeah, like someone's shoot parachute didn't open and they splatter on the ground. There's a few of those. Is I there? Think. Can and you yeah. see them hit? Yeah, it's oh. pretty far away, but still. Oh. Knowing what happened, Oof. I always think of Bud Dwyer. That was he was in one of those. Remember him? Yeah. He gave us a little speech and then pulled a gun out and he had mm. one more thing he was going to say. Okay, one more, and then uh, but then uh, they start coming and say, "Ah, oh, fuck it," he shoots himself. Yeah, <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah, that's the, like he. Uh, I think he was going to say either these drapes go, go or, or I, I do. do. <laughs> <laughs> what a, There's what also a, supposedly what a horrifyingly uh, glib. I don't know. Anyway, what supposedly a, a news anchor had done that too, like in the seventies. Well, that's right. She shot, she shot herself in the head. Yeah, the footage exists somewhere. Yeah. It's just not readily available. Not that I've sought this out, but I just mm-hmm. happened upon... I've seen screenshots of the day, that day, but right, not but that not moment. not that moment, yeah. yeah. Right? Oh, just... This this is well, the best like episode re- of Frankenstein Minute ever. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> well, that's cast rather a gloom over the evening, hasn't it? For, for those of you that tune in for our witty repartee... Let me, let me lighten the moment by saying uh, Jackie noticed there's a steering wheel on the bed. <laughs> I believe it's just a dial to uh, raise and lower. Raise and it. lower? Yeah. Okay. I mean, especially I funny, in right? later films when people are on uh, operating tables and they're being mm-hmm. driven around the, the <laughs> all room. Over the, all over the all place. All over the place. Yeah. A little steering wheel. Get a little crossfade as they like dive into their work. Yep. They just can't wait to get those brains well you're not supposed to what do you have you ever done a brain transplant i've done a few yeah 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 you're not supposed to do that no yeah that's not take your time that's ill-advised we're not supposed to do it at all well right actually but if you are doing it they do anything like that no i can't imagine they've actually anybody's successfully done that oh that's right no actually it's funny i got a uh I got an email notification that there was a news story that had the word Frankenstein in it. And I, and I that's how I get a lot of the okay. crap. And uh, this one was from five years ago. There was a place where they found out that people who had donated their bodies to science, this place called Biological Research Center, which I, mm-hmm. is an easily rememberable yeah, name yeah. in Phoenix, uh, they had like <laughs> sewn one guy's head on another person's body. <laughs> That's right. You remember, man, yeah, I remember yeah. mentioning that. We probably talked about it five years ago. Now, but, I, uh, now I'm regretting my decision to leave my body to the U. Yeah. Well, Oof. my kids go to the U. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I know that guy. I know that guy. <laughs> Oh dear God! What if? What, okay, that's what that's what needs to happen. Here's what needs to happen. You and I need to go on a trip together and get killed at the same time, mm-hmm. so that they can put my head on your body and your head on my body, and then like one other thing, like a knee, <laughs> just some you know, random just one leg or whatever, what, some random <laughs> one butt cheek. Like, that doesn't <laughs> it seem doesn't right. Look right. This is weird. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Human God. junk heap. Yeah, there. That's that's a, instead of belong dead. That should be. Uh, was Sid Vicious a human junk heap? I believe he so. Was, he liked the junk quite a bit. Oh, I know he was kind of a useless. Yeah, he wasn't uh, the ba- the best uh, bass player. He wasn't the best human being. I mean, he no, it didn't seem no- like it. Nothing redeeming about him that I can see. He embodied the zeitgeist. So did uh, Johnny Rotten. And better. Yeah. Well, I think he he represented the negative aspects of the zeitgeist, I think. Okay. And there were positive aspects of it that uh, I think are better lionized. Yeah. Uh, Ludwig and Bomer stand over the bandaged monster lying in bed and somehow silly. somehow keep from busting out yeah. laughing. Because <laughs> oh, looks, I didn't know you were going to say that. It looks ridiculous. Yeah, it looks totally ridiculous. And it, you can tell me it is Chaney. I don't know. It's probably think, quicker than... Uh, I think it's pudgy and bloated enough to be Chaney. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Uh, it looks very silly. Like someone has said, well, if you're going to wrap bandages around somebody's head, <laughs> it's going to then be wrapped in the shape of that person's head. So we better make sure that it's 
it just it just it's a <laughs> it's, he's got a two fake it's terrible <laughs> yes yeah yeah it looks like a three stooges thing where yeah one of them has a toothache and they got it's like tied on the top of their yeah. head with the bunny ears yeah exactly yeah, yeah but then yeah. the other thing is he's just laying there in the bed you see yeah. him for two seconds and there's you they look silly but then also you see his big giant feet yeah. like it almost looks like they i don't know yeah the angle too of it far is, on the feet the lang- angle of it the is, angle. is such that yeah the feet are in the foreground so they look huge mm-hmm. like more so than usual yeah and i think if it had been angled in another direction yeah with his face more forward and his feet then we'd for, be laughing about his stupid bunny ears yeah, we are, we he still doesn't have, actually have the bunny he doesn't ears. have the bunny ears but he might as well he will in the graphic for this episode <laughs> there you go perfect <laughs> this is actually the best acting that he does in the film too because he actually looks unconscious <laughs> that's true he does he does appear unconscious <laughs> I mean, although this, yeah, the the other the last best acting he did in the film was uh, fade into unconsciousness. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. I uh, would love to see if there were outtakes of uh, At Will and uh, Hardwick laughing. Yeah, when they get on <laughs> when they get on the set. When they get on the set, standing over that and and laughing like you really, it's, we're really going to do this, this like this. This is what he's going. Okay, what, okay. All right, all right, let's go. Earl, have you seen this? <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. Let's go. We got to get this thing in the No, I haven't seen it. Uh, Don't worry about it. Check the gate. Wait, we haven't even gone yet. No sign of returning consciousness yet, Dr. I anticipated this. (laughs) (laughs) I just think it's hilarious. It's just, he's that dick. It's perfectly in keeping with his dickishness. Yeah, it is absolutely, yeah. I anticipated this. And then Bomer turns and looks at him like, oh, Oh, did you? Yeah, okay. He really has almost like a smarmy look on his face. Like, oh, did you? Of course you fucking did. Oh, great. Of course you did. Yeah. Yeah. I anticipated this. There's no reason to say that. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> Let me know. It's he's that dick on your work call that's like, I knew that was gonna happen. I told you. I told you. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Whatever. Let me know immediately if there's a change in his condition. Yep. What ha- by the way, what happened to that Igor fellow that was poking around here? What happened? Where did, where did he go? Oh, that's a Nobody good point. questions that either at this point. Yeah, that's a really good point. But again, in keeping with Ludwig's character. Didn't wouldn't give a yeah, shit. Yeah, he wouldn't be two weeks before he'd be like Oh, yeah. I'm an ego fellow. Stay tuned for more references to two weeks. Oh boy. Um yeah. where's Igor? I got that twenty bucks I owe him. Yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. That's the best way to get out of it. Yep. Yeah, Put be, their brain in someone else in the body of yeah, a, a gigantic uh, hulking <laughs> brute. Hulking human junkie. Then he won't want his money back. <laughs> Uh, Ludwig crosses to exit, but then stops and gives a genuine moment of humanity with Bomer. Yep. Just a little. Yeah, no, it's great. I really mm-hmm. like it. He says, uh, Dr. Bomer, I can never thank you sufficiently for your assistance and skill. And then he shakes his hand. And he shakes his hand, yeah. yeah. And then he says, uh, Bomer says, well, that's very nice of you, sir. And then Ludwig says, nah, I'm just <laughs> yes. You're still a fuck up. Psych! <laughs> <laughs> ah, fucking fuck up, Bomer. <laughs> God, you're dumb. <laughs> and then walks away. No, um, I, I would prefer that. Actually, you know. I'd like if Bomer would have said, "Well, God, I wish you would have said this yesterday." Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> could have avoided a few could misunderstandings, have some problems. Here. But then he says, "Yeah, this may bring you the recognition which has long been due you." And Bomer looks momentarily taken aback by that. Absolutely. Like, hmm, oh, that's very nice of you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> now get your ass back to work. I'm not paying you to stand around here. <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 that's probably right. Yeah. yeah. What, are you just going to stand there? You stand there? I, 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 you know, look at all the blood over there. You know, who's going to pick that up? <laughs> you don't have any assistance. That, e- that Igor fellow seems to have gone so, missing. <laughs> But then, okay, so are we still so, on that part? Okay. Well, then, then Ludwig exits, shutting the door, and uh, then Bomer, it cuts into closer. Bomer turns around, and as it starts to fade out, he gets the little beginnings of a little wicked grin. Yeah, yeah, it's it's almost, it's it's during the fade. Yeah. If you're if you're not paying attention, you, he you actually looks a little like he's still taken he's aback, like, like, gosh, what have I done? Oh, whoops. But then he gets he a little bit of a grin, like, like yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. you still. Yeah, that's what you get for waiting till the last minute. Yep. to say thank you yep i don't know no what i think dick. i think it's right 
Yep. Uh, then we crossfade to the usual gang of idiots gathered on the back lot doing yep. what they do best, belly aching. Yeah. <laughs> well, they haven't started yet. <laughs> no, well, they that's are. right. They do. What they are. One it guy says, says right away. He's like, none of us will be safe. Who's going to get? Who's he going to get next? Yeah. Then I'll talk about the fellow who says that next week. You know, he's not wrong. Oh, absolutely not. Yeah, none of these guys are really wrong. <laughs> <laughs> just, just assholes. assholes. Yep. Uh, Husman in the wide shot is standing with his arms outstretched, imploring the crowd. Okay. And moving his lips when he's not saying anything. Oh boy. And then we cut to a medium shot, and his hands are clasped together in front of him. And then he starts talking. Uh, the boy is standing behind him, uh, screen right. And is is that Mrs. Husman? Well, I don't know. There's no, you know. Honestly, I'm. I think there's two women. I think there's mm. a woman right behind him that would be more in the center, and then yeah. he's there, and then off to the right, there's another, another woman. One. So there's there's yeah. a W- w- the reason I note this is because then he says, fellow townsmen, because even though there's a woman right behind him, mm-hmm. he's like, yeah, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> yeah. Go fucking, no, no, I'm not going to do it. No, I-, I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to let you flounder for a Go, while. Go uh, make me breakfast. Okay. Um, the problem with that, the uh, joke of that style is that it's the, that style of joking has been appropriated by people who feel that way. Yeah. Like there was a a woman who was running for some office uh, who had to put up with a belligerent uh, protester. I think he held up a sign saying, make me breakfast or Mm. something like that. Which I would ordinarily think was actually a pretty good joke if it weren't for the fact that That they mean it. Yeah. yeah. Okie doke. Any more questions, wise ass? God, I got to start labeling these better. (laughs) I'm just going to take a little snooze while you find that. Minute 57. We are at the time of the podcast where we do wise-ass comments. Uh, Got any more wise-ass? Got any wise-ass comments? Wise-ass is brought to you by Patreon. Go to Patreon, sign up, do the thing. $5 a month, and then we will send you the minutes beforehand. We just send them out to everybody, and then everybody can comment. Everybody in the wise-ass level can comment. But only like three do. But yeah, there's... Well, we've got some... We might have some... Got some... I don't know. We had three individuals in the last week. Okay. Yeah. Last week. I did Vincent. Uh, yeah. uh, Will. Is he Will? Well, yeah, no, but these, these are ones that do it all the time. Yeah, I'm that's it's the same three. Yeah. Um, Mike writes. <laughs> <laughs> is it the pause? Does the pause yeah, help? Yeah, yeah. Like I'm going to, yeah. yeah. Ludwig shouldn't kid. Speaking from experience, it takes a very intense diet and exercise regimen to turn your body into a human junk heap. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Atwill is so fucking good in this scene. His face sort of sinks when Hardwick compliments him, making you think Bomer might regret being a whiny, treacherous mope, but that classic smirk at the fade out is just wonderful. Exactly. Yeah. There we go. Yep. That's really that's really it. It's all embodied it, in this one. He probably minute. put it much more eloquently than yeah. we did. I yeah, think. that's true. Yeah. Yep. We're gonna bequeath the podcast to Mike yep. in one of these days. Mm-hmm. And then Mike writes, and the villagers are just standing at the street corners with pre-lit torches just in case they might need to form an angry mob. <laughs> hey, you know, you know it does it does come across more that more that way than usual in in yeah. like the original Frankenstein there was it, this was a thing that had built. It and had yeah, now and then it's you like, actually see them collect their torches. Yeah, yeah, the guy hands you know. a, yeah. Well, somebody hands a guy a torch next week, I think. But yeah, they they just yeah. look like they was the guy that was supposed to hand them the torch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, and that's it for comments. Comments. Let's see. Uh, does it, is, do we are, are we? How are we doing on time? Should I keep, keep going? Should I read Doctor Alex Zorka's latest comment mm-hmm. on the classic horror film? I board? would love for you to read that. Doctor Alex writes, "I agree." Oh, oh, and then I got an ad. Literally, an, a big blank, black screen popped up. <laughs> Beautiful. I agree that there should have been more Lugosi and At Will in the Ghost of Frankenstein. Maybe less of Ralph Bellamy, but I assume. Yeah, I know about assuming that Ralph Bellamy was hired because he could play a figure of authority and still be charming. That's probably he, right. He could. He he, he doesn't, doesn't here, but doesn't happen here. But yeah, <laughs> he could do that. He did it in The Wolfman. Is he better in The Wolfman? Yeah, I think maybe he is. It's a better it's, written it's, 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 yeah. part. So either the director of the, or the scriptwriters kind of let Bellamy down here, as you note, in The Wolfman uh-huh. and The Ghost of Frankenstein. Okay, yeah. so we were saying yeah. yeah. Okay, so. However, somebody at RKO must have remembered the on-screen chemistry of Atwill and Lugosi when they cast the two actors for parts in Genius at Work, 1946, yeah. with RKO's answer to Abbott and Costello, the comedy team of Wally Brown and <laughs> Alan Carney. Carney. 
Reportedly, Atwell was in poor health and Lugosi too seemed ill. The two characters weren't helped by their dialogue or their characters either. Too bad because the two of them could have a lot of fun in this movie. Yeah. So this is a... It, I haven't seen it. No, oh, you know... It's not... If you come across it, fine, but Is I it their version of uh, their answer to Abbott and Costello? Because there's always... There's like a version of... Uh, you know, there's a version of... Um, there's Charlie Chase... Who's a version of Charlie Chaplin? No, he's not. I guess he isn't. Not at all. But then there's the, the there's that one comedy duo that's a completely Martin and Lewis. Oh, you're talking about uh, Sammy Petrillo and Duke Mitchell? The, yeah, of course uh, I am. Yeah, of course you are. Bela Lugosi meets a Brooklyn gorilla. Yep. So um, this isn't like that. No, no, they're not actually mimicking the style. The style so much. He's not wrong in saying their RKO's answer to Abbott and Costello. It's right, just, an answer to. Yeah. It's and to Duke Mitchell's credit, he's not trying to do Dean Martin in that film either. Mm. Sammy Petrillo, you want to just club to death like a fucking baby harp seal cuz he's so annoying. You don't want to club him to death like uh, Jerry Lewis cuz Jerry Lewis is Oh, you sh- want even more. His shtick has not aged well. Oh no, yeah, you want to club Jerry too, but you really want to club Sammy cuz it's it's like the the cliche kind of phrase is like you know jerry lewis on steroids or on crack or whatever it's just like non-stop jerry lewis at 10 yeah yeah it's 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 hard to watch i know people that love him and i actually belong to a group on facebook you know the sammy petrillo appreciation <laughs> society or whatever and uh, and you you joined drew, it ironically i did well kind of but i mean drew friedman uh, runs it i believe oh my goodness okay yeah. chuck writes in response to episode from before. <laughs> the before time. From whatever, from three weeks ago, episode 54, he writes, Python reference, drink. So there you go. Okay. This, we, have our, we have reached the, that level uh, now that we are a drinking game. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. That's it. That's all I got. Well, see, so, so this episode, you'll be a little disappointed. Last episode, there were none. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, we'll have to we'll have to step we'll up have our to game. Keep working on that, yeah. Boy, we're going to run out of comments if I don't be careful. Oh. All right, let's that's it. That's everything. That's enough. I've been thinking that uh, we never credit the guy who wrote the music. And a lot of a podcast at the end they'll say music by Oh, yeah. So let's just do that. What's his name? Jacob Walsh. Jacob Walsh. Music by Jacob yes. Walsh. Now enjoy yeah, our the theme. No, it's uh it's a great piece of music. Yes, uh, it is. We've gotten a lot of compliments on it, and people have actually. Do you forward those to him? Uh, I have a couple, I believe. Okay. Yeah. Or just quoted. Them Does he care? Things. Does he yeah, know that we're doing this? Oh yeah. Okay. Because I asked permission. Yo. <laughs> was just, he? He he actually composed it for me. I was toying with the idea of bringing Horror Incorporated back. This is like a, a web sort of thing. Yeah. And uh, I didn't want to use stuff we had done before, so I knew he was. The, fantastic musician and would give me exactly what I wanted so I, ha- I asked you know and he did it and I loved it but that never transpired so this I thought would be the perfect home nice yep. okay thanks Jacob yep absolutely mm-hmm.